Tomko, Jennifer Fedori, and Jennifer Sensen. This is our middle school. school. Our next group is a high school trio, and this group will consist of Stacy Whitner, Liza Beerman, and Rebecca Ritchie. And they will be performing two pieces of music. Uh, the music that both groups are performing is rather old. It's probably about 15th, 16th century. So I know the first time I listened to it, I wanted to run out and get my Robin Hood outfit because it just, it sounds like that kind of music. So uh, we'll now have the high school little trio. <laughs> At this time, you will have the invitation by Reverend William Hockley and he is asked that you remain seated, please. Where invocation comes to us from an old Latin root word, invocare, which is the English word call. It is at this time that I think we all agree there is always something greater and beyond life itself that is responsible for life and our creation. I would ask that you bow for a moment of silence with me. Gracious God, we call upon your holiness, your creating spirit, to bless the efforts of our young people, bless our homeland, bless our community, most especially Lord God, May we ever be thankful for you and their endeavor to be courageous caregivers and people of character. Most holy God, we thank you for those who have been created for bringing this program to our community. May your holiness be raised above all endeavors. Amen, amen, and amen. <laughs> At this time, Mr. Valeria Trump, Sunday School Superintendent and Lady of the Harry Harry Church, has a few remarks that you would like to say. Mr. Trump. <laughs> I welcome you here on behalf of the Centenary United Methodist Church to this award ceremony. This evening we will give recognition to the youth based on character, plus two of the following. Scholastic, athletic, courage, creativity, 
community service, attendance, leadership, attitude, concern for others, and extracurricular participation. We are happy to recognize these youth for their achievements. Thanks to the parents, teachers, and the leaders who have helped these youth to achieve their awards. <coughs> During my years in the teaching profession, I have seen a great diversification of students. Some students remind me of a wheelbarrow. You have to lift them up and push them along. That's not the situation here tonight. The students that we are honoring tonight are reminding me of a good podcast. They're filled with great work, they're well regulated, they have busy hands, and yes, they have pleasant faces. It may have crossed the mind of those students tonight, why am I being given this award? What have I done? Who is giving it to me? Make no mistake about it, no one is giving you anything. You have earned it. You have earned it by achieving the criteria that Mrs. Plum has mentioned. Since we have a rather enormous group of young people to award, we felt that it would be better if we were to break it down into basically two groups. Give the award for the middle school, have a selection by Nebraska Tech, and then give the award for the high school. Probably the best way to approach this is to just read the name. I'll read the name and I'll be assisted by Mr. Bonnie Booth, who will read some of the criteria that these students have achieved and why they're going to be recognized. It is possible that a student may receive more than one certificate. They're going to be bouncing up and down here, so we apologize for that. Is one of the things that Mrs. Barber wanted to make sure was that everyone was recognized for what they deserve. So we apologize for having students come up more than once. The other policy I'd like to make right now, I'm terrible on names. So if I mispronounce some names, please forgive me. Abdama was hospitalized in December and January and underwent a very serious operation. Hospitalization can be a frightening experience for anyone, but Blake showed tremendous courage for a young person of his age. During his recovery at home, <coughs> Blake worked hard to keep up with his classmates well, and what they were doing at school, maintaining excellent grades in all of his classes. Blake's courage, dedication, and sense of humor have earned him the respect of the whole school community. Alicia is a seventh grader who does very well academically. She very seldom misses any time at school. She's a slight young lady and does anything she is told. She participates in the band and is a member of the science for the team.
recognized for their participation in the school play and the drama club. Eliza Behrman, Ben Burr, Brad Booth, Matt Taylor, Shay McGee, Christy Rascal, Angelica Trisno, and Mark McGowan. David Geringer, Selena Mertinsky, Amy Sean, Stephanie Molisco, and Amanda O'Donnell.
מלך העולם, שהגיענו והגיענו והגיענו לזמן הזה, אמן. Bless it, O Lord God of the universe, who hallows us and blesses us with his good deeds. May the journeys of these young people, O Lord, be in your hands. Bless and guide their families on their way tonight and forever. Amen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.